Hello everyone, this is Annette Calfon and today we are with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm drawing a self-portrait and I'm using a Premier Prisma color, the Quarrowed pencils, as well as soft pastels um, and regular pencils. So let's dive in! After I draw the face on the paper, I'm starting to color. And the first thing I'm taking the orange for now. I can choose something else, but this is what I choose to choose now. And this with the yellow color. I'm trying to establish the color of the face and it's going to be with layers but slowly slowly we're going to come to some kinds of color that will satisfy me it's very important when you start to color the drawing that you just made to take under consideration uh, the shadows the values where it's going to be more light in the picture and where it's going to be darker and to emphasize with the color uh, because all the beauty of a picture is when you make this contrast between the lightest part of the picture and the darkest part and this thing is like a, in time it's going to get better I'm not expecting for the first time to get the, the top result, but uh, something that will satisfy me as a, in my in my painting. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. Try to do the same. Don't be afraid to make mistakes because this is the only way to grow. This is the only way to learn made mistake and you redo it again and again and again and again as much as you need until you find the one that make you feel good I'm going to faster some parts of the drawing where I don't need to talk too much
after I establish the darkest part in the face I'm using the white to lighten the white the highlights all the lightened places on the face and also I'm using the white as a blender to blend the colors and to make it smooth also white is a very nice highlight for the hair after you finish uh, with the yellow so white is a necessary color to always have more than the others that's why I'm using the pastel colors because sometimes I just want to have more color than just the pencil can provide me and I want it fast um, that's it so here you see I'm doing layer on layer sometimes and mix it together and I got nice results try it
Okay, dear viewers, we are coming to the end of this tutorial. I'm finishing with a little bit thinner that I'm spreading around a little bit here, a little bit there. I have some sparkle colors in my drawers and I would like to try them. So, you see, it's a little bit sparkling and I'm putting it around the picture. Also, I'm going to put it in the background and just fun I'm enjoying doing this uh, the thinner makes it a little bit smooth you see all the colors there are some suddenly you see a face coming out of this tutorial uh, it's nice to try everything it's nice to try I like to do more oil painting but uh, this is also uh, colors that I would like to try sometimes and to use them uh, and I uh, suggest you to do this to do the same. I added glue to the paper that it will hold the sparkles because uh, I did it before with not so much and now I'm doing it and I know it's gonna stay and it's gonna stick to the paper. Just now I'm playing around with the sparkle highlights colors. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments and you want to ask me any questions, please leave me in the comment below. Don't hesitate. I'm here for you. I would love to hear from you. What do you think? And we are going to go in the next tutorial to oil painting. Something very nice. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think about this. Thank you for being here with me. Bye. See you next time. Thank you.